That's us. <laughs> We're a runner now. We're runners now. <laughs> Tony, you have your ID? My ID's in the fanny pack. You have your goose? Goose in the fanny pack. Your energy gels, I should say. Yes. Um, do you know what you're wearing tomorrow? I was just about to head upstairs to figure that out. This year, the Twin Cities 10 miler is actually falling during a recovery week for me for the 50 mile race. And so the main goal tomorrow is to really take it easy. If we end up PRing tomorrow, then we have done something very wrong, or at least I have done something very wrong. We're both feeling very laid back. Do you have your outfit? Outfit is planned. Awesome. How do you feel, Tony? I feel pretty good. Yeah? This is gonna be a fun run, so. From the heathens, got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing. Take me for granted, and you know I'm leaving. I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. Got a taste for blood, and my tongue keeps bleeding from the words I spit. So sharp, so freezing, so cold. Behold, frostbite, they feeling. I could tell you. A pot or I could go heal them. Don't believe in fate, don't believe in ceilings. I just need a taste, and my mind starts peeling. I don't pace myself, I grind on kneeling. Got lust for change, I just love the feeling. Uh. I ain't gonna give up. Got too little time, I'ma live up. Head down, push forward through the tough times. Cause anything worth doing is a tough one. Talking to Tony about things that undulate. Undulating is the miles, word of the day. Between miles two and three, undulating like these hills. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, 
we crossed the river. Heading towards Summit in a couple miles. We're on the East River Parkway right now. Good. They're showing off for us. <laughs> Unnecessary. <laughs> All the schools on the road, they don't know. They don't know the view. Alright, Summit Avenue. I just wanted to take a couple minutes to debrief after yesterday's 10 mile race. Was I able to keep it a recovery run, just a regular easy paced long run? The answer is no, no I was not able to. There's too much energy coming from the spectators, from the runners, from the entire thing. Everyone's out, yeah. they're out for us. <laughs> so do I recommend plugging this race into a training plan as just another long run? No, no I do not, it's not a good idea. If you're able to time this race at a point in your training plan where it could be like a race time trial, I think that is perfect because it was absolutely impossible for me not to push it during this race. It was so much fun. It was too much fun. So a little change in the training plan. I had a six mile run on the books today, the day after my 10 miler, however, I am just going to take the day off to recover. If you ran the 10 miler, I hope you had a great time and had a great race and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you are interested in continuing to follow along on my journey while I am training for my first 50 mile race, feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you so much everybody, bye.